hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet ajele have you made your all purpose to yet if so let the easy meals begin so we're beginning with none other than jollof rice and this is on those weeknights that you just get home you want to throw something together i just fry my spam i add in my stew stir everything together wash my rice and add it into it and within 30 minutes jollof rice will be ready for dinner okay and this is why i love 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 making a huge batch of stew every time it makes your life easy and everybody else happy so following the same process as making jollof rice i add in the rice i stir it until it absorbs all the stew i add some water to loosen it up cover with parchment paper allow it to cook until the water comes out like this give it a couple of stairs in between cooking and jollof for dinner will be ready it is that simple and once your jollof is ready you can dish it anyhow you want i will usually transfer it into a container like this so that my kids and the whole family would enjoy whenever they want because after dinner this will go into the refrigerator for the next day our next recipe would be making chicken stew so after i've washed the chicken i'll add some water to it and transfer it into my pressure cooker to that i'll add some chopped onions spice blend cubes and green marinade chicken seasoning and salt give it a good good stir cover it up and allow the pressure cooker to do its thing okay once this is done in the pressure cooker it is nice and tender as you can see i'm going to shallow fry it in some coconut oil just for flavor you don't even have to fry this if you don't want to i just want to infuse it with some of the coconut oil flavor so as you can see it's just a simple shallow frying once this is done i'm going to go ahead and get it out of the pan set it aside and using the same pan i'll add in some of our all-purpose stew to that i'll add the stock from cooking our chicken and then bring it to a boil once it boils we're going to reintroduce our chicken back into the stew allow it to simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes and our chicken stew dinner would also be ready i'm telling you in less than an hour because the pressure cooker cooked the chicken in about 20 minutes and then we shallow fried it a bit and then added our already cooked stew then brought it to a boil and look at that weeknight chicken stew ready in well i can't say minutes in under an hour so yeah it is minutes <laughs> and we enjoyed this with rice on this night so yeah that is recipe number two checked but we have to veer off the Ghanaian dishes a bit yes you can use this too to make other things so in a bowl i'm going to add some shrimps to that i'll add some all-purpose seasoning stir it up and set it aside Next, we're going to bring some water to a boil. So I add the water to my pot. To that, I add some salt and olive oil. Once it comes to a boil, I'll break in some pasta. Yes, and allow it cook until al dente. I'll then go ahead and saute our shrimps until they're golden brown. Our pasta is ready. It is al dente. So I'm just going to go ahead and get out the water and set it aside while I go and check on our shrimps. Here 
here we are our shrimps are doing well so i'll flip it over look at it so so delicious please be careful you don't finish this before you begin with dinner so once i flip it over i'll cook the other side for a few minutes and then it is done we would set it aside in a pan i'm going to add in some of our stew yes this stew is so versatile eh? my kids are very happy with this delicious dinner this night okay and then we'll add in our sauteed shrimps our pasta toss everything together and that is about it you don't have to add anything else but i chose to add in some bell peppers to bring a beautiful pop of color to it i'm also going to go ahead and add in some parsley my favorite herb of all toss everything together serve and enjoy again dinner in under an hour 30 minutes to be precise and my kids were happy okay so now moving on to the next recipe after i dig into this deliciousness this night we'll be making beef stew so i've already parboiled my meat i'll add one green marinade all-purpose seasoning, salt to taste, stir everything together. I'll add in a little water because of parboiling. Most of the water is out of our meat. So I'll add a little bit of water, cover it and cook it until it is done. And we are back. Our meat is looking good. Oh my goodness. All we're going to do today is to saute it a bit. Y'all know I love my coconut oil, right? Yes, and I have a cold press coconut oil recipe for you all coming up. So do look out for that. And once we just saute it for a bit to golden brown, I'll add some onions to it. And oh my goodness, do you see this right here? All you need it's your favorite beverage and some toothpicks relax in your living room and enjoy so that's exactly what i'm gonna do i'm going to take some of it before adding in our stew <laughs> don't judge me i'll also add in the stock from cooking the meat give everything a stir bring it to a boil and then i'll allow it to simmer for about 10 minutes and i'll be stew will be ready okay i promise <laughs> we are back do you see this our stew is ready so all that is left is for us to serve and enjoy and as you can see we have amadana shifio cucumber fuel wawlo kome and the enjoyment just begun <laughs> now let's move on to the next recipe so whatever leftovers we had from our beef stew i'm going to make gary Fotter the next day for lunch okay and that stew stayed on that stove overnight and it didn't go bad that is because it is well fried and i take some of the sauce to set aside because i don't want the gary Fotter to be more than enough it's just for me and i don't want to make too much i'll add a little water to the gary Give it a stir and then we're going to go ahead and add the gari into the stew i'll add some onions to it you may add whatever vegetable that you prefer and then i'll stir everything around and my lunch is ready with the same stew the leftover from yesterday's beef stew okay On this day, the kids wanted pasta, so I'm just going to bring some water to a boil. To that, I'll add some salt and olive oil, and I'll be adding some macaroni to this, okay? We will be making a macaroni pasta today with some of our all-purpose stew, and this will be ready within 30 
minutes okay once our pasta is cooked i always cook my pasta to al dente okay i don't want it to be too soft so to the stew i added some veggies then our pasta give everything a stir and cook it for about a minute or two and our dinner is ready of course my kids are gonna toss the veggies out but i always try to make it look as pretty as possible oh and if you are a cheese lover please do not hesitate to add cheese to any of these pasta recipes okay it is absolutely delicious continental food madam food madam international food captain who showed you how to make pizza jala bangu and ogro soup sushi and pastries all this and more sweet ajay Tonight is a fish stew kind of night, so I add our sauce to the pot, allow it to come to a boil, add in our air fried red snappers, turn everything over so they could soak up some of this delicious stew, cover it, lower the heat, and allow it to simmer for about 10 minutes, and our fish stew will be ready and you can enjoy this with anything you like yam gari bangkun you name it it goes so well with it but on this night we were craving for kinky so now that our stew is ready all that is left is for us to serve and enjoy and as i said we would be enjoying this with some kinky Do you prefer fish gravy instead? Then place your fish into your serving dish and I'm using air fried tilapia. And with the stew, I just warmed it up in the microwave. I'm just going to add the stew over the fish, allow it to sit for about five to 10 minutes so that it can soak up some of the deliciousness from the stew and also release its own deliciousness into the stew. And that dinner is ready. Let me tell you, this dinner was literally ready in like 15 minutes because we decided to enjoy this with rice. So all I really had to do was cook the rice and I also air fried the tilapia, but I don't add that to the recipe because I just seasoned, placed it in the air fryer and allowed it do its thing. And then dinner was ready. Hey, should I repeat again? Please make that stew. It makes your life easy, especially if you're in the diaspora. On this day, we're making egg stew. Who doesn't love egg stew? Just add your stew to your pan, bring it to a boil, add in your eggs, stir a bit. We don't want it to be too broken up because I like my egg sauce very chunky and then cook it until your eggs are ready like this and then add in any vegetable of course you know we love onions we want the crunchiness of the onions so once i've stirred it beautifully i'm going to go ahead and top it up with some onions and then a bit of parsley as y'all are i'm a parsley kind of girl i'll add that as well and just like that our egg sauce is ready and we'll be enjoying it with some cocoa amankani i think that's what it's called terra roots oh lord this whole recipe was so delicious the terra roots literally melts in your mouth so yes that was the story for this night moving on in the next recipe, we'll be making spinach stew, and I'm using chicken thighs, which I'll season with some of my all-purpose seasoning and our brand new spice blend, okay? I've made that recipe, and I'll share it soon. Oh my God, it is new and improved. Super delicious, and all I'm doing is steam frying this chicken. So I started with coconut oil, and then I added the chicken with the seasoning. I'll stir everything everything together well and then I'll cover it and allow it to steam fry it'll first release its juices and I'll continue steaming it until it reabsorbs 
all the juice and then fries beautifully just like this for us oh i love doing this it is quick it is easy next step you all already know add in your stew give it a good good stir and then we're going to go ahead and add in some frozen spinach so we're not really cut cutting anything today we're just sharp sharping everything okay once i've added in my spinach i am in the mood for palm oil stew so after stirring i'm just going to pour a little bit of palm oil over it and allow it to simmer for about 10 minutes okay after stirring this together i decided to add some agushi to this sauce so in a separate pan i'm going to do just that i add a bit of water to my agushi i'm using about a quarter cup of agushi with the water i'll stir everything and then allow it to swell a bit before adding a bit of palm oil to a separate pan pouring in the agushi and we're going to stir fry this until it separates that will be an indication that it is nicely cooked you see how creamy it is right now it's going to scramble like overcooked scrambled eggs and that is when you know that it is well cooked i'll have a full recipe of making spinach stew with this method that i know you all would love because y'all had questions when i made my original spinach stew so don't worry i'll bring you this recipe so do you see how it looks now like overcooked scrambled eggs then it is done because if you undercook this omusumbacho you have running stomach and we do not want that so our gushi is ready we'll just add it into our spinach stew stir everything and it is done because our sauce is already done our spinach stew is done so once we add this we would be ready to serve and enjoy and i'll be enjoying it with some plantain the rest of the family enjoyed it with rice but this is what i wanted it was ah, super delicious and it was ready in under 30 minutes now before i start boring you guys this will be the last recipe i think i've given you all enough ideas i have the same type of stew with chicken in it i added some cut up cabbage i'll stir this together and i do not like my cabbage to be too soft so i'll cook this for just about three minutes and then i'll go ahead and add in some red onions for the crunch and also color to this dish and we will be ready for dinner on this day why won't you make this stew you must make it because it will make your life very very easy i promise you doesn't that look delicious we will be enjoying it with some rice and beans oh my goodness this combination was a wicked one and i cannot wait to bring you this recipe all right thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and are inspired to try the recipe until i see you in the next one stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys ke onamini uchemi suite mahabotu Bye, y'all.